Hello, everyone. Uh, I am Padma Priya, and I'll be the instructor for the course Medical Image Processing by Metacode. And today I will be just uh, telling you who am I, uh, what am I doing in South Korea, and what is AI in healthcare, and uh, what do oh, AI in healthcare engineers do, and uh, what are the applications of uh, healthcare uh, nowadays, and how is this domain this industry and if you want to become an ai developer how can you apply for those jobs in order to get those jobs what all the skills would you will you be needing is what we are going to see today so let's start who am i as i said my name is padma priya and you can call me maya i'm from india i'm an ai developer in south korea based on um, a startup here uh, then I finished my master's in biosignal processing, actually in electronics engineering, but my major is biosignal processing. So how did I get here? I'll tell you. So uh, I did my uh, bachelor's degree in India um, in university called SRM University in Tamil Nadu. There I did uh, my degree in electronics and communication engineering. If you have Indian friends or if you are an Indian, you will know what ECE is. Then after in that study, uh, the there was this subject called digital signal processing. Usually, many students don't like it because it's called this digital, uh, sorry, degree stopping paper. But I liked it. I don't know why. And I was good at it. So I really wanted to do something with signal processing. And after my bachelor's degree, I wanted to do uh, to do master's. So I applied to Japan and South Korea uh, because during my bachelor's degree, my foreign language studies was Japanese. At that time, I knew I know that uh, uh, Japan was really good with electronics and also South Korea, but I didn't know much about South Korea. Then later, I developed an interest with South Korean dramas. And then I was like, why not apply to both Japan and South Korea? Then I applied to both Japan universities and South Korean universities. And fortunately, I got a good scholarship from uh, South Korean University. I had, I had an interview with my professor and there he mentioned that uh, my master's will be mostly in signal processing. I was like, wow, that's what I want. Then... I got here and what kind of signals did I work means I work with EEG, electroencephalography, it's brain signals uh, and mostly I mostly worked with the finding functional mapping uh, on, on brain with the help of uh, EEG signals to uh, have a track of uh, Alzheimer disease progression. And also I did a small work in ADHD development. So this was my um, thesis in master's. Once I did that, I started uh, searching for jobs in South Korea. And I found that uh, this AI developer role in this company, which was very much related to my master's, they were also working on brain. Then I was like, well, wow, that's good. So why not? And I and I fortunately got it. And I came to know that I will be working in the same functional MRI, which is like functional brain analysis. Uh, so that's how my journey from my bachelor's degree to being an AI developer in South Korea for three years. Uh, this is my journey. I hope uh, you, many of you would want to work in AI healthcare. So why AI healthcare? We all know AI nowadays has been a huge boom, not has been, it's even being a, a big transformation in every industry. So why not healthcare? If you see, uh, healthcare is also a platform where we need a lot of new innovations to help the doctors to diagnose diseases much faster, to help them uh, give patients specific treatment and for a development of drugs, etc. So there is a huge demand and uh, for AI health healthcare developers, and as it's a growing uh, department environment in the future, I bet you it will be a great field to work for. So what do we do in healthcare? Suppose if the doctors are taking care of patients for a long time, all of course. So in that case, 
we we take lot of scans test reports and uh, our medical history everything so when the doctor come for uh, the treatment the doctor has to know what all this pa patient has took because he cannot remember each and every patient right so in that case we can automate the data management and here comes ai ai in the sense machine learning algorithm data analysis data scientist everything in a huge package that's what we call as ai so here uh, as i said you uh, ai can be used in data collection and management then <laughs> sorry and then model developments these models will help you uh, diagnose diagnose the cancer cells or blood clots in earlier stages and i must say all these ai developments are never to replace the doctors it it's only to help them then also nowadays we have lots of research uh, journals being published in healthcare even for those even doctors these days are using ai models other than that uh, if you can see it's it's a software development platform of course doctors will need a platform where they can access the data upload the data get your test results everything so web development app development everything comes here and also uh, if you go for like blood test report and all you get a complete clear report with images explanation everything you are a part of developing everything in those so these are the different domains and suppose um the other fields are like education uh we doing your masters phd teaching then regulatory affairs regulatory affairs means certifications because when anything that product that related to hu interaction with human beings there are certain clearances that you have to go through for example in us it's fda uh, in europe it's uh, hipaa i suppose and uh, there are different kind of FS fssa in india things like that different certifications and you can help them in that in order to help them that also you need to have knowledge on what product and what is the development process in the product so these are the different domains in ai so basically where are those applied i will i told you already i'll just put it in the very short form they uh, they are mostly used in medical imaging along with like you can help your radiologist uh, to like in x rays ct mri because even now i am working in mri uh, then uh or else yeah so in finding like segmenting a certain part of the part of the body uh and uh, finding cancer cells nodules your skin pigmentation all these can be uh, automated and programmed by ai models then robots how did i forget that yes ai robots in surgeries they help doctor do precise surgeries and operations on human body with not with very less damage to other nearby organs right even like nowadays we even do high level surgeries to babies such a, a small body which where you can have like lot of organ damage in those cases robots are highly useful then there comes drug discovery drug discovery not nothing but finding new uh medicines and these medicines uh can be should have should should be tested in a simulation first then with human beings and all these data have to be uh, stored managed etc and again there is one nowadays the uh the talk of the town is natural language processing nlp like chat gpt these days if you input your symptoms you will get a prediction of what what are the possible diseases or any condition that you have right so these are the numerous ways where you can use uh, ai in healthcare isn't it quite interesting so if if you want to become an ai developer in healthcare what do you have to study of course a bachelor degree which is uh, based on coding 
and programming so computer science related and relevant fields a master degree or a phd degree in ai machine learning or healthcare informatic informatics and uh, uh, things related to healthcare or beneficiary then relevant coursework like this coursework you can follow different coursework online uh, and do small projects and build your resume uh, like you can work on the algorithms data structure machine learning techniques neural network techniques etc then yeah so these are the basic qualification that you have to develop in order to become an ai developer uh, for programming languages, you see, mostly we use Python, but then depending on backend, frontend, full stack, anything that you are going to work for, your language might differ. So you can learn a programming language. That's that's what I'm trying to say, basically. Then machine learning frameworks, mainly TensorFlow, PyTorch, and SkyKit Learn, because like, uh, these um, frameworks have already inbuilt uh, trained models. You can use those models in order to do your classification, segmentation, anything. Then data analysis and visualization techniques. Then uh, knowledge on healthcare system, like healthcare data, like normal data, like images, JPEG file, PNG files are not the same with healthcare data. You have different formats. You need to have a little bit of knowledge on those. Then basic medical terminologies <coughs> uh, like all the disease names pathology names uh, you will be needing to know all this medical terminologies and the familiarity with the healthcare because you cannot develop a product which is having no use in the healthcare system you need to know the healthcare of that particular country or the geographical area where you are trying to develop and that's will help you in building your product efficiently. Then, in order to become an AI developer, how should your portfolio be? Because nowadays, you cannot apply to jobs just with your resume. You need a strong portfolio. In order to have a strong portfolio, you need to do a lot of projects, work on building a lot of algorithms, and then use a uh, con uh, version control system like GitHub. Then you need to know how to dockerize something like containerization. And uh, if you have research papers, collaboration works, uh, publications, it's added bonus. And also you need to attend a lot of webinars, seminars, and always be updated in this field. And also take courses like this course to improve your knowledge and do small projects and build them into bigger projects. And that way you can uh, strengthen your portfolio. So what are the jobs that you have to search for? Job searches are like AI engineers, machine learning engineer. Uh, then you can also do medical coding in hospitals, then uh, data analysis, data analyst, data scientist, data engineer. Uh, these are the roles that you can look for uh, when it comes to AI in healthcare. So now we saw a basic introduction on who am I, what am I doing here, and how can you become an AI developer, especially focused towards healthcare. And in order to become that, what all the qualification you need to have and how to gain that is all we saw right now. So Moving forward in the future courses, we will be learning different uh, image processing techniques involved in medical field. Thank you. Have a good day. See you in the next session.